Today I am releasing a brand new pack of YouTube subscribe button animations and titles to match the current style here on YouTube. Hopefully you're seeing those on screen now. <laughs> now, exciting thing out of the way first, um, these will be on sale for the first 24 hours. I'm planning like probably like 25% off for that first 24 hours. Hey, maybe 25% off for 25 hours. I'm usually pretty bad at, at cutting off those uh, deadlines. So if you're cutting it close, check, because I might still be running that discount. But back to the main thing, uh, this is a pack of three different titles for DaVinci Resolve. If you uh, click the link in the description to head over to the store page at sterlingsupply.co and purchase them there, that will get you a download link with a DRFX file if you double click to install that. Then in DaVinci Resolve under title Sterling Supply Co, down here you will have the YT Sub 25 2025 uh, combo full and solo. The first one being the solo, which is just the subscribe button that comes on transitions, has these new like star and colored effects that you might see um, if you subscribe to this channel, if you aren't already. The second has that same button, but plus your profile picture, your uh, channel name, and uh, channel subscribers that you can customize. And the third one is more of a direct update from a previous product I had made, um, where we have that same animation over here, but then you actually have like a background with some of the cool like overlay colors that YouTube also wrote out a few years ago. And this one you can also toggle to light mode if you want. Whoa, and make that splash a little. Whoosh. You got options. Of course, in the inspector, um, especially for these two, you can swap out that profile picture or the channel name and uh, subscriber info here. On this other one, you can swap out, again, light mode or dark mode and on dark dark mode. Um, you can change uh, the sort of like a gradient you've got going on. And you might have noticed um, some animation stuff. So uh, by default, these first two, just like pop up on screen. And this third one uh, by default does scale, but that's just because um, on all of these, I have a transition style dropdown that has none slide or scale. So on something like this first one, I can change that to slide and that slides up from the bottom down into this lower left-hand corner. Um, or I could change that over to scale, which is uh, again, something like we saw in the third one. Those same animations are on all of these, um, but it is still uh, important, or I thought it was important that I still had the option for none here because you could uh, stack effects here. I also can't tell um, if you can tell that I am sick, I'm feeling a little, uh, I don't know if you can hear that. In my head, I can hear it. Anyway, moving on. If you keep this transition style to none, then you can layer on something like my easier ease effect if you want to uh, custom keyframe that with built-in easing, or if you want to uh, use any other uh, preset or effect for animation like Mr. Alex Tech's uh, Magic Animate or any of the awesome presets that are out there, you can just set this transition style to none um, and then animate it however else you want to. But the other important setting with all of these is that animation offset. This is the offset on this main sort of like, you know, subscribe to subscribed animation. Cause if you stretch these out, um, you can have this sit for as long as you want it. But if you want that animation to happen later, then this animation offset is a scale from zero to one. So if I pump this up to something like 0.2, then that will sit a lot longer before that comes in and clicks over to that other option. Again, if I set this back to zero, that will happen a bit earlier, normally like about a second, at least on 30 frames per second timelines. The only other small thing I do think I need to notice um, is that if you stretch these out, some of the animation might like desync a little bit, maybe not by default, but especially if you change this animation to something, uh, like 0.2 and then you stretch it out even more, then that you might have like a little bit of a desync with this color shifting. But if you then uh, change this animation back, even shift it to something else, then go back to the value you want, then that should resync totally fine. If you change this animation offset and then um, stretch the clip to be longer or shorter, that might cause a little desync, but just, you know, jiggle this animation offset control and that should get you back up and running. All in all, I think three pretty simple variations, but um, still a decent amount of customization options here. And of course, uh, the extra um, little design work that went into some of this stuff. Even if, even if I open up this first one in Fusion, which you can do by clicking this button here, um, you can see just this little basic subscribe button animation it has some nodes, it has some nodes. One bit of customization people asked on a previous version that I still haven't done here 
is the ability to change this text. It is harder in this version because this animation does sort of do this like little clicky type on effect. So if you want this in another language, you'll probably have to contact me directly and we can figure something out there. Or maybe, you know, if one person um, requests it for one language and I make it for them, that'll make it easier to give it to other people as well. Right now, we're just sticking with subscribe and subscribed and this cool little bell jingle option. Ding, ding, ding. Cool. I think the first version of this was in 2022. So now we're just updating for 2025. They've even changed this um, a number of times in between then and now. Um, so this might be something I revisit every once in a while when YouTube decides to update their stuff. But I'm very happy to expand this into a bit of a pack just to give you a few more options depending on the video you're working on, depending on how simple or complicated you want things. You've got those options. Again, a link will be in the description um, along with the code you can use for um, that sort of introductory 25% off. Don't forget all the other things over on sterlingsupply.co. If you like these videos, if you like the tutorials I do, if you like anything that I do, the absolutely best way to support me is head over to sterlingsupply.co and pick up some products there that hopefully are still really super useful to you. I wanna keep making cool things. Your support is the only way that is possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.